I'm bringing you a video today that was filmed this May where I was transplanting plugs around the yard from existing grass and seed that I grew in peat pots. This is a step I took in order to get as much coverage as I could this season. Right now, I'm unloading some of the play sand that I bought in order to hold the plugs in place and fill the donor holes from the plugs I removed. A member of the lawn form described the pro plugger as the, quote, most unfun pogo stick ever created. <laughs> and I would agree. I realize that plugging grass doesn't seem that spectacular, but I hope you find my video interesting. This is an example of an area that I have seeded with the peat pots because there's existing Bermuda here and I wanted to thicken up these areas. So on the pro plugger you have these two rings that come with it and these allow you to set the depth of the plug. Uh, this, currently, this one that's currently on here is at four inches and this ring will go over the end and that'll set the depth at two inches. If you remove them both or if you remove one you actually set your depth to your depth to six inches. So I'm going to change this ring out uh, to where it will be plugging at two inches deep. I'm just going to choose a random place that's pretty close to some of these other plugs I've already established and just step. Pull the plug. Let's do three over here. And that's uh, that's good enough. Now I'll take one of the plugs. And I can see it's just barely below the depth, which is what I want, because I'm going to put a little bit of the play sand in the bottom and then cover it up, very similar to this. The sand will actually hold the plug in place. And I wanted to put these in the front because it's an area that I travel and I'll uh, make certain that they get watered pretty frequently. So for convenience sake, they like to put a spout in these bags where you can pour it pretty easily. My boyfriend. So I'll just pour a little sand in the hole in the bottom. Even it out. Let's choose a plug. Put it into the hole. Okay, I got your food out. Okay, thank you. Okay. Take one of these that hasn't grown in as well, put it in. So now that I have the plug in place, plug and play. Not a computer kind of Boyfriend just drove by. Yeah? Yeah. Kind of fills it in nicely around the side. Why are you burying that grass in the sand? Because that's what Bermuda likes. I'll take my watering jug and dump the sand on it. And so now I'll take my watering jug and just lightly water it in enough to where the grass blades are showing. That'll displace some of the sand. 
pack it in. Get some of that. That should be good. Like I said, I put these plugs up at the front because this is an area I walk by daily and I want to make certain that these plugs get all the water that they need in order to root and to grow properly. I'm harvesting some plugs from over here on the denser portion of the yard and I'm going to take them over to the other portion that's uh, where it's pretty sandy over there. I have a lot of organic material on this side but what I wanted to show you is uh, that I'm pulling plugs that are about four inches deep and I have roots See that long one right there? I have roots that are extending past four inches over here with the Bermuda. In this really dense area. That's one of the reasons that I chose this. I'm going to just pull some of the plugs from the sandier area over there and bring them over here where it's a little bit less dense. But I'm going to set this down. Good handle. Camera work. And I'm going to show you the roots that I pull up. them come right out of there. Those are extending easily six inches. Thanks RGS. So this is a side of yard that I'll be transplanting the plugs that I'm taking. I've already put a couple in the ground. You'll see them here. And this is a side that has a lot more sand. Show you you can hear the difference when the plugger goes into the sand a little bit difficult one-handed just slid up in the sand. Oh, it's rock hard too. And that's it for this video. I had a great grow in with the plugs and what I don't show is that the holes I took the plugs from on the left side of the yard were filled in with play sand. Total grow in time took about two months and right now I have about 98% coverage on the front. I'm trying to catch up on my content and have more videos coming up over the next month. I'll have an update video on the progression of the whole yard as we get closer to one year from the date of my first video when I started my renovation. Uh, stay tuned because I got a really cool video on a project I did on how to hang your plants on your front porch if you've got limited space.